previously. Haribo! Ah, Haribo! Ah! Haribo! Ah! 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 Yes, it's you, Susie. Come close. I don't Say want to see. No! I don't want to look at it. Haven't I had enough yet? That body in the ambulance. Then the forest. But this place is... This is exactly what I was trying to run away from. I don't want to be here. Make it go away. I assumed it would be wise to give you a little taste of the suffering you'd endure. I want you to understand that you can keep going long after you come. <laughs> oh, what the music? I've seen my own dead body three times already, and you asked me to like see it again. You're asking me for this? Crowbar? Why, why is this? What? Why? I'll just put it out. Thank you. Now, let's look at how pretty I am. As I mean, crucified all alone in one place. Let's change it all. I really don't want to be here. That looks like a house. Why would the house there talk to? Susan, it's time to make a decision. No! Wow, 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 Parasites are coming whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. You That's just stand you... up for yourself. Oh, damn it! That's the last thing I want to hear right now. <laughs> For thanks, old woman. Mm. If either I agree or I don't, or I ask about the parasites. But seriously, I Susan chose to die. Why? Why are you commanding her again and again? Uh, what should I find? I'll do what you want. I don't, I don't like doing things people ask me to actually, it's like, no, life choices, it's my own life choices, I, take I do whatever I want. from nobody, I'll do it my way, don't you understand, there is no other way, well, I don't know that, besides, you could be lying to me, how do I know you aren't? I'm no murderer. I don't want to be. I'll find another way without you. What? Look, I appreciate you giving me another chance. Don't get me wrong. I can see now that I've made a mistake. And I'm ready to try to fix my life. But I really don't like what you're saying. If yeah, one your thing attitude. I, I don't like it. Life, it's that people let you down all the time. Rely on myself. I can't rely on anyone else. Real said, woman. You fool. Oh. You damned arrogant fool. You have no idea what you have just done. What? But fine. Have it your way. She's angry now. In the end, I will be the one laughing. I don't care. Susan doesn't care. Um... Be sarcastic. Insult her. Apologize. Hey, nobody gonna apologize over this sort of shit. I gotta be sarcastic before. Yeah. Don't laugh too hard, old woman. You might break something. When we meet again. Oh, she, she's angry. You will beg me on your knees to give you a second chance. I don't really believe in second chances. So I might have to disappoint you again. Look, this is all just a bad dream. I want to wake up. I'm back in the house. Huh. That was quick. Okay, it'll be fine. I don't need her. I'm sure I'll figure out what to do. That's what you said. What was the crowbar for? What's this candle for? As I strange. Mean. The flame seems strong and steady, but there is no smoke. 
Suspicious. Why? Oh, wait. One, two, three, four, five. These might be the parasites. Oh, I see. Maybe this is the route, the road I need to choose from. So, is there no other else? I'm, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? I can't get Maggots. through these. What the hell are they anyway? Maggots. Isn't that obvious? Look at a lonely seashell. Oh fuck. There's no other way, so we're gonna blow this one out. Hey. Let's hope it's the right choice. Oh? They left me no choice, Alice. Maybe one day you'll forgive me. What? What just happened? Who's that? Let's just blow everything. I think that's enough for now. What do you mean that's enough for now? Nothing's ever enough. I think that's enough for now. Fine. 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 Be that way. Fine. Oh, we can get out now. Good. Mary and Joy. Sunberries. How did I get back here? Magic. Sunberries and strawberries and sunshine. We made it back. Oh, I can't, I can't get out from here. Fine. How did I get out? Oh look, it's my body. Hello. What do you want? Shut pockets. Fine. My body is... Susan's body, I mean. It's sort of useless right now. Oh! Oh, the crowbar! I got it! Oh, why did it take me so long? This crowbar is for the plank. We just gotta go to the warehouse. Hello, I'm back. Did you miss me? Did you? Huh? Did you miss me? Where the? Is it? Pop, pop, pop. Oh. Ho, ho, ho! Ho, ho, ho! That, he, he looks scary. Examine. The sign says emergency. It's eaten. All this blood around the hole? Was someone hurt here? Wait a minute. Why? Is said emergency power switch? There's a switch inside here? Oh, there's a switch inside there. Hey, take it. Oh! What the f- What? What the f- Got the machine movie blood sacrifice. Oh, I use <laughs> the music is cool. Why is that it? Get out. Where is this? Oh, okay, now the machine is working. Is that ah interface program? This panel. Nice to meet you. Wow. I think it's like 30 back time, it's bringing me back. Are they programming? Are Michaski? Nice to meet you too. Oh, oh. Wow. That's a very strange opening. I like that. The cat lady, welcome.
Ho ho ho! Chapter 2 Second First Breath How do you know? Yes, I came back to life. I do Ooh. enjoy fine art. Thank you for noticing. Oh, you're welcome. There's a certain raw beauty to it that modern painters often fail to recreate. Your painting is suspicious. I though. always wanted to be an artist myself, but it'll be a long time before I can call myself that. Hello, I man, your painting. I say that patience are my canvas, but my job is more about restoration, obviously. I look at the damaged human mind and bring them back to their former beauty. I'm sorry, I'm probably boring you. No, of course you're not. it's not that. It's just... It's been a difficult couple of days. I'd really like to go home. Of course, and go home you will. As soon as we've done this little assessment, okay, you probably know how it works. I've read in your file you used to be a nurse. Yes, I know very well how it works. You want to check if I'm nuts? Well, I wouldn't use that expression, obviously. But yes, we have to make sure you're safe and figure out how to help you. Also, as a nurse yourself, you know there's always paperwork involved. These forms won't fill themselves. Honestly, Susan, you have nothing to worry about. This is just a formality. I could tell straight away that you are not nuts. That's what everyone says. What would you like to know? I will answer all your questions. Then I'll go home, take a long shower, and catch up on sleep. Wonderful. Let's see then. Where do we begin? Oh, the stars are this strange though. It's a bit pixelated, yet shading drawing thingy, but. Hmm. But Either it's way, not. Doctor. Good evening. Hey. It's good to see you awake at last. I, my eyes are really even open. You're in the Cedar Lake Hospital. My name is Andrew. I'm one of the doctors. I see that. Would you confirm your name for me, please? So that. Ignore! <laughs> I want to ignore him. I can't remember. Can I just say I can't remember? Okay, I want to be an ass, but I can't. I don't think I like you. Then. You can just give out your family name to someone you don't know. Hi, Susan. I'm Hi. glad to see you're alright. You're on the ward now. Your condition is stable. I can see your brain functions just fine and there's no permanent damage of any sort. We've checked your internal organs and they're fine too. You're a very lucky lady, Susan. You might experience extreme tiredness and lethargy for a couple of days, but that should soon pass. I would advise plenty of rest now. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please let them know if you need anything. Take care, Susan. Yeah? Okay. Please, don't try to speak. What did you say? Don't worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Your arm is fine. No, no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Now calm down. Oh, this is a dream. Would you like me to get you some water? Yes. Let me get you a drink. I'll be back in a second. Okay. Bye bye. Oh. I'm sorry, Susan. Did I wake you? I have to take your no. blood pressure. Two seconds and I'm gone. Thank you, stay longer. Your booty My name is Liz, by the way. I... Hi. I'm sorry. I know this isn't very nice. Believe me, I hate waking people up just for this. But being a nuisance is part of my stupid job, unfortunately. Oof, I hate this place. I can see that. Tell you what, Susan. Can I call you Susan? So anyway, I shouldn't say it, but you know I'm going to anyway. You are so lucky. It's crazy. 
You, doing what you'd done, and her, walking in, seeing what she saw. That was a chance. One in a million. I'm not making any sense again, am I? I'm tired. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. One day I'll tell them what I really think. I swear I will. Ah, and here it is. You've got the blood pressure of an 18 year old. What do you mean by that? Just wanted to say you're lucky, I think. And that I hope you've changed your mind about some things. Got to go, but I'll see you later. You take care, sweetheart, yeah? Yeah, of course. Thank you. You're very kind. Well, of course you're a nurse, but thank you. Oh. Oh, her arm is... What are those bruises on her arm? Can I... Oh, what? the hat? Oh! Oh, that's a very nice close-up. What just happened? Am I alive again? Bad dream. Yeah! No, just a dream like any other. Yeah, really bad one. <laughs> nope, just a dream like any other. It's not the first time know. anyway. Just a dream like any other. Oh, that's fine then. I nearly woke you up, you see. So you tossing and turning as I came in here. You looked like you were having a horrible nightmare. I get nightmares sometimes. I get them, and I can't wake up. Or sometimes I dream that I'm falling. Those are strange dreams. Because I think I like them. I keep falling, but I never fall, if you know what I mean. Never hit the ground. Never. Nah, I remember your name. Your name's Liz, so what happened to what me? What happened to me? Well, how much do you remember? I... I took some pills. I had and my I arm cut off. fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. Oh. I felt so calm. And then... All of a sudden, I was on the field of Bali. I woke up here and saw your case. Either I don't talk about the dream, or I do. Don't talk about it. Talk about it. Don't talk about it. Liz seems like, um, nice. I mean, she seems like the sort who will listen. Yeah, she seems like the sort who will listen, so... All of talk a sudden, I was on the field of barley. It was great at first. I felt happy. I was free. But it soon got worse. There was this tunnel, but there was no light at the end of it, only darkness. Then I got lost in the woods. There was my dead body hanged on the tree, a burning car, and a crow, and a deer. I heard something behind the trees, but I didn't dare to look. Then I found the house. The old woman who lived there, I think she was death. Or maybe she was the devil. I'm not sure. Maybe she said you. they call her the Queen of Maggots. She said I should go back. Gave me another chance. And so, here I am. Weird dream, eh? Maybe it wasn't a dream. I really believe in that sort of stuff. It's not impossible. It felt real. But it was just a dream. Can you now tell me who found me, and what happened? Well, your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. What? Who found me? Your daughter, of course. She I don't have a daughter. Athletes. If it wasn't for her, you'd sure be dead now, Susan. My daughter? Yes. Why? Why'd you look so pale all of a sudden, Susan? I don't have a daughter. Whoever she is, she lied. But why would she do that? How should I know? I was in a coma, apparently. So, so sarcastic. Right. It doesn't change the fact that you owe her your life. 
I was fine. I didn't ask for any help. Sorry. I noticed though this, the voice, I mean, when she spoke, it sounds very muffled. Very far away. Like she's not there, why? Wait. I can't stop the game apparently. How long have I been here? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I got curious. Wait, how, how long, long have I been here? I was told you arrived at the hospital at 7 in the evening. You had a cardiac arrest in the ambulance. They had to resuscitate you. Your heart stopped beating for nearly a minute, but they managed to bring you back. You went to the care unit, where they gave you a dose of antidote and pumped your stomach. As soon as your condition was stable, they brought you on this ward. It's called Dime Ward. More like Dime Ward. I call it Die Ward, because all the patients who come here want to die. It's a suicide watch unit. That's why it's so strict. You have to be careful. Nurses here are trigger happy with the sedatives. Mm. I want to go home. I don't like staying one place at this. When will so they let long. me go home? I'm not sure. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Or oh, maybe never. Look, I shouldn't say that, but you seem like a nice person. I feel like I should warn you. There's this doctor here. They call him Dr. X. Professor X. He's the X. chief of psychiatry in this hospital. You won't be able to go home until he's talked to you. And he... He's really good at getting into your head. You know what I'm saying? He will ask you a lot of tricky questions. But he's a really great guy. You should trust him. Hmm... This doctor sounds. Hmm. Since I'm gonna like meet him later soon, I should know about him. Tell me more about this Doctor X. His name is Xavier Zellman. No. Just calls him Doctor X. He comes. <laughs> what a coincidence! Often, usually late in the afternoon or in the evening. I personally really like him, but you hear all sorts of stories in a place like this, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. All I know is he's been very friendly and supportive. Some doctors won't even say hello to you. But Dr. X usually stops and asks how I am. He knows I have some... problems. He can see I'm not happy here. He actually offered me some free weekly sessions. I think I might take him up on his offer. What are they saying about him? Oh yeah, they say he's a big flirt. Nurses, cleaners, patients. He doesn't care. As long as they're wearing a skirt. One girl I knew. Linda. I heard they had an affair. Stupid girl. <laughs> well, she left. And I never saw her again. Now why do you think that is? Dr. X got her knocked up. They covered it up and quietly got rid of her. Probably paid her some money. I don't know how these things work. But it must have been enough to shut her up. I bet he'll be more careful now. But I can't really say a bad word about him, personally. Well, one thing. Maybe. Don't laugh, okay? He's got a weird smell. What do you mean? He smells... funny. I don't know. Maybe it's just bad aftershave. Or maybe it's something he eats. Oh, thanks for the warning. I'll try not to get too close to him. Now that I think about it, there's something else too. I'll tell you this, Susan. He starts talking to you, and you just open up and tell him everything. It's very odd. I don't exactly hide things from people, but he got some really private stuff out of me. Really private. You know what I mean? Things I wouldn't tell my mother about, and we haven't even started those sessions yet. So, be prepared for that. Sure. Thinking. But it's a bit too late for me to hide how I feel now anyway. I think I made it very clear when I swallowed those pills. Hmm. I forgot what I wanted to say. Oh, 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 maybe he used hypnosis. It sounds like he's using hypnosis. Hmm. 
Let's ask about the daughter. Did you see this daughter of mine? No, sorry, Susan. Apparently, she came in the ambulance with you. But then she remembered something and had to go. I think someone mentioned she went in quite a hurry. Of course she did. She was worried I'd ask her what she was doing in my flat. Um, saving your life? Do I really have to give her a benefit of the doubt just because of that? One would assume so. That girl is a hero. Maybe real heroes always leave before their identity is revealed. Or she was a burglar, attempting to steal from me. Hmm. That's a possibility too. Have you got anything very precious in your flat? I have my cat. Maybe. <laughs> really? So, let's... Tell me something more about yourself. Me? I'm a nobody. I'm just a hard-working girl. We all have to pay our bills somehow, right? I rent a room not far from here. There are two other girls living in the house. One is an auxiliary nurse, like me. She's always sick. The other one is a stripper. At least I think so. She's never home at night. Maybe she works at night, like you. Yeah, but I don't leave for work wearing red stockings and heels, do I? No, you're right. You're a real nurse. Not some man's fantasy of one. I used to do all that for my boyfriend. You know, dress up as a sexy nurse and all. Well, I did it just once, really. He didn't like it that much. He didn't like me that much either. Broke up with me last Valentine's Day. Of all oh. the days, he chose that one, eh? He never told me why, but I don't care anymore. I think that's all. Let me sleep. I'm tired. Let me sleep now. Fine. I'll see you again. Be careful who you trust here, Susan. They will be watching you. How do I know you're not one of them? You don't. But do I really look like a bad person to you? I... You talk a lot. I don't know. Maybe not. I'll see you tonight. Remember what I said. Dreams okay. are just dreams. But when they turn into nightmares, it's good to have someone there to pinch your arm and wake you up. Right? Hmm? hmm? We'll How? start with a little chat about your childhood. He I is want Professor you to X. be as honest as possible. It's important if we want to get to the bottom of your problem. Count to ten and tell me when you're ready, Susan. No. Two. Three. Four. Ten. Three. Ten. Three. Oh, he doesn't. He's not responding. Fine. Mm, I want to wait. Uh, fine. What I want to say right now, so I'll just try to kill Titans. Right? Oh my god, there's one here. I, 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 I kill you! I, no! My mouse! My mouse, my mouse, my mouse. Mikasa. You will leave. Mikasa. Oh! Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> okay.